Hi, my name is Scott Schramm with Continental Access, Vice President of Sales. Today I want to talk a little bit about our new CA 4K software release. Some of the new things is we're very excited about with the new CA 4K is number one, it's going to be a .NET framework. Thus, we're going to have the opportunity to be able to do a lot more integrations with different partners that we have out in the field. One of the first new steps that we have is new look, feel, a lot more of a Windows 10 um, exposure compared to the old CA 3000. Plus, we are now able to have multiple tabs open all at the same time. So I'm going to click on right over here, configuration, and there I go right to my panel screen. As you notice, I can have my different panels and locks on the screen. It tells me if they're on or off. Very similar to CA3000, but with a lot fresher look. At the same time then, what's also very nice is then I'm going to go to the personnel screen and as you can see here, I can actually put different tabs if we decide to do different card formats, different integration pieces, different things. Probably the most exciting, which most people have been waiting for a long time, is now I can actually have multiple badges assigned to one name. So if I click on my name here, Scott Schramm, you will see I already have two badges assigned to myself. So we can do this, and for a parking garage or a multi-tenant place, you can have different cars associated or different tags or cards associated with one person. Another new screen for us is our wireless lock screen. What's nice about this, now on one screen, we can see the status of all of our wireless locks. As you know, all of our wireless locks are fully distributed processing panels. So now, if I look down to my wireless lock screen, it'll actually tell me the transmit signal, the receive signal, the version of the firmware, and even the battery voltage. Also then, up from my gateways, the gateway tells me the IP address, the version again, and how many locks are on that gateway. So now on one screen, we can see the whole status of our lock tree. Also with the lock screen is now it's very simple to remove a lock, replace a lock, refresh all locks, add a lock. Again, now I'm not going back to the system settings screens. It's right here in one place. We can do multiple different DVR partners, NVR partners, all at the same time. Just have to have a different workstation for each integration piece. So now we have the multiple NVR combinations set it up and it's very simple to use. Finally, with our threat level management now, we're able to do lockdowns and actually partition the lockdowns. So I have different schools, different threat levels for lockdowns. Now I can actually do my threat level lockdown and partition it. So if I have one school and I want to do a threat level where I do a complete lockdown where nobody's badges will work but all the other schools are still open and working, I can now partition it, make it active, have my different areas, and only one area at a time or one school at a time will be able to lock down. We've enhanced our scripting. So with the scripting now, I have multiple different events I can do. We can actually do download lock requests, lock badge data overflow, reader data, category counters, facility codes um, downloaded. So we're able now with the scripting wizard, take our scripting to another level with what we're able to do inside of the system. Thank you very much for your time and look forward to seeing you soon.